So, with Ubisoft revealing that they would unveil a new The Crew game at E3, also knowing that I could not compete with the likes of Slap Train or Black Panther seeing as they were actually on site, I decided to lean back and get the bigger picture view. So now I sit here, having properly digested the rather insane thing that is The Crew the game, if you do not know, will still be a racing game and it will still take place in the US on a scaled down but open map of the entire country. It will also have cars. But there is pretty much where the similarities end. They are updating that physics, something desperately needed, and they are introducing a lot of new types of racing. Like track racing, and boat racing, and planes. Yes, airplanes. Things in the air, wings, propeller. You know the thing. So, while Need for Speed are going the crew route, the crew simply took a sharp left out into Bizarre Land. And personally, I love it. What is it not to love? There are going to be airplanes, and boats, and track racing, and monster trucks, and everything to learn from making the crew, but better. Heck, on a personal level, I think the crew whipped Need for Speed, known as the old king of arcade racing, like its name was Miss Steel. Even if the cars handled like crap off the road, there were many weird barriers around the urban areas, Im impassable fences, weird blocked off side streets, all these things. I still loved it. It was something new, it was something different, something we haven't seen before. And of course it was the stability issues in multiplayer. I mean, it was a mess, but the core was good. And a new game looks to be amazing in all these departments. You can run down these barriers, you can go off-road properly now. Hitting a rock won't make you flip into the air anymore. It looks amazing. <sighs> I hope, at least. What we've seen so far has been heavily, heavily monitored stuff. So we'll have to see if it actually lives up to the pre-hype, because even a playable demo on the show floor it's not necessarily the same thing that we're going to see in the end, but the sheer amount of new toys. The boats, the planes, the stun flying, the ability to switch on the fly, man, you can barrel in with the plane, switch the car, land that car after an insane drop, just drive on, jump out of a cliff, go into a plane and just take off and do it again. What is it not to love about that? I mean, seriously, what is it not to love? Tell me, because I don't know. So, all these new toys, of course, will alleviate another problem the game had, have, have had, had, have had, and that is after a while it tends to get a bit stale. I mean, even with the added summit and the cop mode and everything, it still became a bit stale. It was mostly the same thing, and the multiplayer was much better, as I said. It was shifty as fuck. Very dependent on the host's internet quality and, well, your own too, since we have peer-to-peer structure. Cars that were carbon copies of each other and being driven in the same mode in regard to shifting and sim level still had varying levels of performance. I could end up behind a car and simply be unable to catch up because the game was doing something weird. I don't know what. This made PvP roll over dice and it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun at all. I mean. Who would think that that was fun? Hopefully this will be fixed now. I really hope so, because otherwise this game will still have problems. But I'm looking forward to it. Because it looks awesome. It's like... I can't describe it. It's like GTA 5, but the proper driving engine. Can't say much for a flying engine. Huh. It'll probably be pretty basic. Who would not want to dri drive a speedboat with nitros pretending to be... What was the show? Thunder in Paradise. Putting on your best Hulk Hogan mustache and doing Thunder in Paradise. And in case you want to know, do not Google that show. It is horrendously bad. It's like the worst part of Knight Rider and Airwolf. But with Hulk Hogan and a boat. Anyway, I'm still looking forward to this game. This game will be awesome, hopefully. <laughs> I'd have to, I will have to, I'd have to preface this saying, hopefully it will be awesome. I think it will be awesome, but I don't know. Time will tell. I've signed up for the beta. As soon as I know, you will know, but then again, you will know anyway, because you watch all the big YouTubers that will definitely get into the beta. And 
I mean, seriously, you and I watch them. So, I mean, we will all know. Sooner or later, we will all know. But this also means that we are going to go back to the old crew game. Since there is a little meta game going on called Reward Program. Sheer stroke of pure genius there. But yeah, you do challenges in the old crew, unlock cars for the new game. That we're gonna do. I'm gonna be recording my attempts at filling out the entire list because I want more cars. You can't have too many cars. Well, it's only cars, it's bikes, and I assume planes and boats too. So, a good starter kit of vehicles, basically. But we're seeing some of that on this channel, whether you like it or not. Because, to be fair, this is my channel. If you don't like it, well, you will never tell me because you will just log off and never come back again, and that's kind of sad. But that is how it is. Anyway. That will be it for this time. As always, thumbs up if you like the content. Subscribe if you care. I mean, subscribing is caring after all. And, as always, stay safe, be kind, and play fair. Bye!